Hello, this is Carrie again and I have another video for you today. Today I will be doing a review of Millie Murata's newest book that just came out called um, Beautiful Birds and Treetop Treasures, A Coloring Adventure. So um, this is a new book that just came out and I want to thank the publisher for sending me this out for review, especially so soon after it came out, which is pretty amazing. So let's get started. Um, so the basic facts of this book are the same as her other books. It's about 10 by 10 inches. It's a little bit smaller than 10 by 10. The current Amazon price as of this taping that I saw on Amazon US is $10.80. The retail price is um, $14.95 and there'll be a link from Amazon down below. Um, as all her other, the what I'm going to call the basic book is... Um, um, she has the same, she says, reading. Um, I think it's something different um, and information about this, bur this book in particular, but you know, I didn't read it. Um, and this, um, now this book is, every animal is, um, it's very specific animal. And then she tells you in the back what the animals are, but the pages were not numbered. So, and then like, it was weird. And I'll explain to you more when we get to it, but I decided to just like number them myself. Um, so that's what you will see. And this is the first one that I'm, that I started working on. Um, I'm going to try to, after I finish this review, I'm basically going to unbind this book. And if you haven't seen how I do the unbinding, there will be a link up there to the unbindings, but I'm basically going to unbind this book and try to finish as many pages as I can. Um, um, and I started doing this. This is actually done with the Prismacolor and there'll be a link up there to my updated Prismacolor review. Um, but I only have 24 colors, so it's kind of, I don't know, it's been a little bit more challenging than I wanted it to be. But anyway, um, I did start it and I want to finish it. But anyway, so that's with the Prismacolor pencils. Um, yeah, I, you know, I would have done it differently if I had more colors to choose from, but it is what it is. So anyway... Um, so I don't know exactly what the animals are because they are in the back and as you can see this is um, some of the animals obviously that's a koala bear um, so they're they're double-sided um, and they're not numbered on the page so you don't really know what the animals are you have to look in the back and it's a little bit confusing because some animals take up two pages as well as having some of the printing go into the spine and some animals um, take up one page and sometimes there's multiple animals on a page so it's a little bit difficult to figure out what exactly is what so I really really I know that they have been for whatever reason resisting doing single-sided for um, all this time but I, I I don't know what the resistance is at this point from the publisher or from Millie Murata about doing this as a single-sided book um, you can do the two-page spread so for example the way I would do it is I do a two-page spread so these two pages would be pages that you would color and then in the back here these would be with information about the previous page that you saw in the back and then there would be two more pages of coloring here and rinse and repeat so that you had two pages facing back each other and then you had um, previous page with information about what was on the back anyway that's just how I would do it but um this is how they have decided to do it um so there's that way you could do a two-page spread um but also they would be single-sided but anyway so this is the way the book is now and I know for a lot of people especially if you use Copics this is going to be a deal breaker that it's single-sided um but I do like the fact that they have a lot of interesting animals here um animals we don't often see in coloring books um I do I just wish I knew what they were I mean some are pretty you can kind of figure it out like these are bud budgery guards I think I'm pronouncing that right um and this is some sort of seabird um I think this is like a bower bird or something um but you know you can't don't take my word for it so there's that and by the way i am doing a giveaway of the deluxe edition of um wild savannah of uh, millie Murata's wild savannah so if you have not already um seen that video there'll be a link up there to that video if you have not already seen that video and subscribed um and you know follow directions for that video entry you should totally go out and see it um i had and in addition to that there's like 
it's a big birthday giveaway because it was my birthday on Saturday. Um, and I went out to tea. And if you follow me on Instagram, you saw all the pictures of my birthday tea. It was a lot of fun. It was really, it, I was really surprised at how much fun it was. The food was really good. Um, I tried a bunch of new things I had not tried before. So it was pretty interesting um, and pretty amazing. So, but anyway, you can see that they have, you know, they have these animals. I think, I think part of the reason is that she enjoys doing these two page spreads. And I do like the two page spreads, but I think that they are doable in the way that I described. Um, I have seen other books published in that way. So I think that it could be done. I think it's just a matter of like deciding to do it and deciding to have, you know, a bunch of blank pages essentially. Well, they wouldn't be blank. They would be filled with some sort of information on what was on the the river side um maybe one day i will do a i will make a look a little mini booklet to show how it's done um you know it would require some sort of you know pre-planning from the publisher as well as the artist to decide you know how to draw it but you could still do the, your two-page spreads um you know you could still do your two-page spreads it would just be like these two pages in the back would both be blank well they wouldn't be blank but they would both have some sort of information about the previous pages um, but anyway, sorry. Um, and the, you know, the art style is the same as she has done for her previous book, which I know a lot of people find intimidating, including me, but I decided to just go ahead and swing it and just do it. Um, cause you know, that's one thing too, is that, you know, the only way that I'm going to get better and probably for most people too, is to just do it and to just keep doing it. So, um, I'm going to not necessarily force myself, but I'm going to, you know, do some pages and, um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but you know, I will, I'm totally going to take this book apart. I, I have numbered the pages. I'm totally taking this book apart. And, um, once I take it apart, um, then I'm going to just going to have to choose one side to do for each page. Cause I'm not doing, um, I'm not going to be doing them double sided the way they are. So, um, so I essentially, I, I'm not going to have the whole book anyway, cause I'm not going to do both sides. Um, I think for most of them, unless I really, really enjoy both pages, I'm not really going to do both sides. So, um, so there's going to be some choices to be made about which side I'm going to do, but I'm totally going to remove the binding. In some cases, it's going to be super easy to do. Oh, I like this one actually. Um, I like this one. Um, in some cases it's going to be super easy to decide what, um, what side of the book I'm going to do, what side of the page I'm going to do. I'm probably going to do this one. Um, and then in other cases, it's going to be a little bit more challenging, but then, you know, but that's okay. I mean, I could always just get another copy and do the other side. Um, if that's what I want to do, um, in order to get both of the sides done. But, um, but there's that, this, this looks really pretty. Um, so, but it's going to be a little bit of a challenge to figure out what animals are what, and I have to go by where in some cases I know what the animal is. Um, and I'm just going to have to go by my best guess to figure out. I'll show you at the end. Do you see how they're, how they're numbered? They don't really, they're not numbered how they are, um, labeled. So, um, that's something that I would definitely correct in future printings. And the easiest way to correct that is like I said, to print the information on the back of the page. Um, and to just show you, she has had these moths in all the pages and I have not been able to do it. I follow somebody on Instagram who likes, you know, insects and stuff. And I'm just kind of like, mm, I can't do it. Um, but I know that everybody's different. So that's why I like the fact that she has such a large variety in her books. And I'm trying not to move too fast and to give you guys a, you know, a clear view of what's in all the pages. This looks like some sort of, uh, some sort of forest, uh, animal. Um, I'm gonna have to look through, um, what it is, but I'll, but we'll look at the back. This is some kind of owl. So that's how, basically how I'm going to guess what everything is, is by just looking at the ones that I know and labeling the ones that I know with a matching number and then going back and filling in the ones that I don't know what they are. If that, you'll see, you'll see. Um, so there's that. Um, and some of these I really, really like and others are not, you know, that's kind of the thing about coloring books is that not every page is gonna be your favorite and that's good because then you can 
um, pick your favorites and go with. I think I really am enjoying these birds that are here. Um, it's going to be a challenge for me to fill in these backgrounds because I've decided to put myself to make sure that I that I do a background for every page that I do now. Um, since I've been cheating on the backgrounds and I feel like making sure that you have a background that does something really helps the rest of the piece sort of come together um, for a completed page. So that's going to be my mission. So that this reminds me of, I don't know if you guys have seen David Attenborough's Life of Birds. So good. I watch it like literally I watch it like at least like once every other month. It's so good. I, I love all his specials. Um, so this is what I mean. So you'll see that I got over here. I got as far as this. So the first one that I actually started working on is the Superb Liar Bird. I swear, I, I feel like I say this every time we do a double, a two page book that has a two page spread about how easy it is to do a two page spread back to back and single sided and nobody ever listens to me. That's kind of the life that I live. Um, but anyway, so this is the, um, the superb liar bird. And then I just, you know, I just looked it up and did it kind of sort of based on what the actual animal looks like. But you know, obviously I took some artistic license and uh, made my own choices. But that's probably what I'm going to do for most of them is I'm going to try to do something close to what the animal looks like unless I decide to go just totally nuts. Um, so like, for example, I know which one is a koala and then I work from I work from there to help me make sure that I keep my place. So the number three is the koala. And that's kind of how I'm going to have to go through and do all of them. Um, if you want to see what, like if you don't want to do the trouble of having to do it yourself and having to figure out what's what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture of both of these um, once I've completed them and I'm going to put them on my Patreon page. You won't have to be a, 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 a paying patron. Um, and you'll be able to see the whole sheet and you can use my sort of label and numbered sheet as a cheat sheet. Um, altogether, there are 84 images here and, um, or so I counted, I counted that there are 84 completed pages. Um, as with her other books, it will take watercolor and, um, it will take your, um, water-based markers. But if you want to do... Um, not watercolor, watercolor pencils. Um, if you want to do light washes on your watercolor pencil, it will take the light washes on your watercolor pencils as well as your water-based markers. But if you want to use Copics, um, you are not going to be able to use both sides. You're going to have to choose which one you do. Um, so there's that. So I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video. Overall, I really like this book. I like the designs here. Um, like I said, my biggest complaint is just the nature of the the fact that it's the fact that it's double sided in this way. Um, as I said, I think you could totally do it, you know, single sided. Um, and maybe one day I will make my single sided to do my single sided in my video explaining how to do a single sided two page spread book, because it seems like to me in my head, it's pretty obvious that that's how you do it. Um, but no publisher that I've seen a, on a coloring book has done it that way yet. So I don't know what the holdup is with these people not doing it the way that I explain on how to do it, but you know, <laughs> I mean, obviously they don't have to listen to me. They can do it their own way. But I think that people would really appreciate having a single sided book that actually works. Um, but anyway, that's me. So it's the same as the other books where if you prefer single sided books, you're going to have to make choices. Um, but anyway, overall, I really like this book. She uses the same gold foil that she's done for the other ones. And um, I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share. Um, and if you have not already done so, make sure that you um, that you head on over to the other video, which if you click on the I here, um, you can see it in there. And to click on the, uh, the birthday giveaway. Make sure you guys sign up for the birthday giveaway before that is over. Um, and um, if you guys want to see the cheat sheet um, for back here, head over to Patreon. Um, and I will do a public post um, showing the, the pictures of the completed 
um, of the completed cheat sheet. You might have to um, zoom in or something, um, but I will do the, the picture showing the completed, the two completed pages. All right. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.